All right, today's video is going to be a different one because I have with me a new affordable laptop and this could be the laptop that we have been waiting for because here's the thing, for years Apple has dominated in one department and that's the ecosystem game. But getting a MacBook, iPhone, iPad and all is expensive. You and I cannot easily afford to buy them. Like. And with that in mind, we try to build the most affordable ecosystem and at the heart of it is the Samsung Galaxy Book 4 Edge. It's newly launched for $59,990 and at that price, it got some neat trick up its sleeve. For starters, this comes with Snapdragon X CPU with 27 hours of clean battery life. 27. Just for reference, the MacBook M4 Air claims 18 hours. So I'll be answering two questions in this video. Can you build a Windows plus Android ecosystem? And B, how good is the Galaxy Book 4 Edge? Because there is no ecosystem without a good laptop. Like, what would you do of that? Stick around till the end of the video. I have so much to talk about. Let's effing go. Let's freaking, freaking go. Now, before I get to the whole ecosystem part, let me tell you about this laptop. Like, if this is your first time buying a laptop, here's what you get inside the box. Of course, the laptop, some paperwork, and here's the charger. Now, this is interesting. See, other laptops in this price range give you bulky chargers, but here, you get a compact 45 watt Type-C charger. So, not only it can charge your laptop, you can even use this to charge your phone, TWS, anything. This is a PD charger, super convenient. Now, the first thing that will catch your attention is the design. Like, just have a look at this. It's sleek, minimal, and feels premium to touch. It weighs in around 1.5 kg, which is pretty normal or light for a laptop. And here's a unique design element. See, at the bottom, there's a slight curvature on both ends. This is actually a smart design because this can make the laptop feel slim while easily fitting in all the necessary ports over here. Like on the right, you have a micro SD card slot, USB A 3.2 port and a headphone jack. On the left, you get two Type-C USB 4 ports and a full-size HDMI 2.1. In my usage, I was using this secondary gaming monitor and it worked perfectly with this laptop. But if I have to do one nitpick, see both USB Type-C ports are on the left side and the charging socket on my desk is on the right side. So every time I have to take the cable and go around and then charge it. It would have been better if there was this one on the right too. Minor inconvenience, but I'm sure you can relate. Now, one of the most common things we all do with our laptops is watching content. Like either we are watching Netflix or YouTube Premium, which is not going to be a part of your family plan. And for the most part, the laptop is fine. Like the display has good colors. It's 15.6 inch, 1080p, 60 hertz, IPS LCD. And I was watching The Dark Knight on this and the picture quality was nice. Colors looked vibrant and saturated, which makes watching things enjoyable. Also, the viewing angles are good. Like I was watching a K-drama called Hometown Cha 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 and the experience was good. Plus, this is an anti-glare display. Let me show you. I have a MacBook here. And if I place both laptops under this light, see the MacBook has clear reflections. You can literally see the light source. But on the Galaxy Book, there's barely any reflection. This is very helpful if you sit beside the window or use your laptop in a cafe outdoors. However, when it comes to audio, there's a catch. See here, when I'm using the laptop on the table, the sound is okay. But if I place the laptop on the sofa, the audio is muffled because the speakers are directly placed at the bottom and they get blocked. So if you like watching movies on the bed, I would recommend use a headphone or just place your laptop like this. By the way, we're planning to do a video on cheap versus medium versus expensive IEMs. Let us know which one do you use or your suggestion in the comment below. Now, the most interesting thing about this laptop is actually performance and AI. Let's talk about the performance part first. So this Galaxy Book 4 comes with a Snapdragon X CPU. It's got eight cores and eight threads with 16 GB RAM and 512 GB SSD. Now, Snapdragon is different from your traditional CPUs. I'll try to explain it as simple as possible. Consider the Intel and AMD CPUs are like truck engines. They can take heavy loads, but they're not fuel efficient. Whereas a new electric car may not be able to take heavy loads, but has enough power to do day-to-day -day tasks and it is very energy efficient. The Snapdragon X CPU is like an electric car, which is great for day-to-day -day tasks with really good efficiency or great battery life in terms of a laptop. We also ran the Cinebench R24, which is for ARM series laptops, and it scores around 657, which is similar to a Windows laptop at this price point. However, here's where the Snapdragon CPU takes a lead. So we ran the same benchmark on battery, and here the Snapdragon had higher scores compared to the x86 CPU. Bottom line, even on battery, this is giving some serious performance, something only MacBooks could do so far. That being said, there are two things to mention here. See, Snapdragon cannot natively run x86 software. They need to be converted. Either the developer does that, like for Photoshop, you'll see an ARM variant of Photoshop. Or if the developer doesn't, there's a translation layer built in called Prism, which does the 
सेम एंड वाइल मोस्ट ऑफ द एप्स लाइक वर्ड एक्सेल और क्रोम विच आर आम नेटिव वर्क रियली ग्रेट देर आर फ्यू अनकॉमन एप्स एंड गेम्स दैट मे नॉट वर्क और विल वर्क स्लो स्पीकिंग ऑफ गेम्स दैट्स अनदर थिंग ऑलमोस्ट नाइनटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द गेम्स आर ऑप्टिमाइज फॉर द एक्स एटी सिक्स आर्किटेक्चर दैट्स बिकॉज प्ले स्टेशन एक्स बॉक्स एंड एवरी आर एक्स एटी सिक्स ऑन द गैलेक्सी बुक फोर एच दे आर रनिंग वाई आर प्रिजम मीन वेल गेम्स विल हैव सम परफॉर्मेंस इशूज एंड सम अदर गेम्स लाइक फोर्ट नाइट एंड ऑल विल स्ट्रेट अप नॉट रन हैविंग सेट दैट एपिक हैज अनाउंस दैट फोर्ट नाइट विल सून कम टू आर्म सी पी यूज विच आई अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज नॉट मेट टू बी अ गेमिंग लैपटॉप इज मेट फॉर प्रोडक्टिविटी डे टू डे स्टाफ एंड ए आई Now speaking of which this laptop has good AI features like obviously you get a dedicated copilot button and you can do regular AI stuff like chatting generating pictures and all of that but here's the exciting part you get access to ChatGPT 5 and this is more than the free version because copilot in the back end uses ChatGPT 5 and you can use it as much as you want now copilot vision takes things to the next level check this out i'm confused between these two monitors one has a VA panel and the other one has an IPS i can just say which monitor has a better picture quality and see it analyzes the things on my screen and gives me a proper answer ips panels are known for their superior color accuracy wider viewing angles and more consistent brightness compared to va panels ips has better picture quality like let me show you another example i have s25 iphone 16 and pixel 10 specs on my screen i can just ask which one has a better camera the samsung s25 is usually recognized for its strong camera capabilities The good thing is AI usually makes error when the specs are new or the smartphone model is new but here the answer is appropriate. Plus there's also this new Microsoft recall feature which keeps track of what you're doing in real time by taking regular snapshots of your screen. Like this other day I was searching for a graphic card but I forgot to add it to the cart. Now I can just go to Windows recall and see there is the search and before you shout privacy Windows recall needs your pin or fingerprint or face unlock to open. Also it runs on Snapdragon X NPU on device so your screenshots are not processed on cloud. Now the biggest pro of this laptop is actually the battery life. While Samsung claims it can last 27 hours but that's only when you download a video and play it offline. Rather let me tell you my practical experience. I used to charge it 100% in the morning and in normal workload by evening I would still have 30 to 40% left which is like very good. And here's an interesting thing. See yesterday at 9 pm when I left office it was at 68% and in the morning when i opened it and i started to work it's still at 64% almost negligible battery drain in standby mode also you get a 65 watt charger in the box which can charge the laptop to 50% in about 30 minutes or so now for the part we have been waiting for ecosystem features see we have this affordable samsung phone and this galaxy book 4 edge i can get most of the ecosystem features in budget like obviously there's link to windows which can route the calls from your phone to the laptop i can see phone notification heck i can even drag and drop files from the laptop it will get transferred to the phone but that's not all there's this multi control feature where you can use your laptop's keyboard and mouse on your smartphone seamlessly and if you also happen to have a samsung tablet you can even use it as a second screen or if you have the galaxy buds you can connect to all the three devices at the same time and this happens through your samsung account this is not multi device connect so what's the conclusion well i have two verdicts first of all on this laptop see the galaxy book 4 edge for the price is a good option if you're someone who values battery life like if you're a working professional or if most of your work is browsing the web typing watching videos writing lot of scripts and docs in fact photoshop works natively on arm there is also davinci so you can edit shots or reels on this so for those use cases this is great in fact during the sale season you can get it for under 50000 However if you are into gaming or if you use very specific software that might not work on ARM then you should look elsewhere. And second, the ecosystem part. See to build the Apple ecosystem with the MacBook, iPad, iPhone and all of that it would easily cost you 1.5 to 2 lakh rupees. But if you have Windows and an Android phone you can get 80 to 90% of the ecosystem features for much much less. Let us know in the comments how important this ecosystem for you. Like suppose if you have a certain brand phone Are you more keen to get that brand's laptop or earbuds? Let me know that. I would personally reply to you. On that note, this is Big Sanigov. See you in the next video. 